hello uh, welcome back to my channel um so today i just got ready because i'm gonna go shopping with my mom we're gonna go have lunch and then we're gonna go check out some stores so yeah should be a fun day anyways um yeah i've been sick the past like weekish week and a half so i'm finally feeling better and i'm ready to like get out of the house so um yeah i will see you soon hopefully i find some good stuff and i can show you what i got hello <laughs> so i'm back um i literally just walked through the front door and it is crazy windy outside um excuse my messy house and that's my little kitty cat that's my visor <laughs> anyways um so i'm gonna show you what i got we went to a bunch of different places we went to lunch and then we went to ross we went to old navy walmart and burks so let me show you what i got at ross i only got one thing at ross so at ross i got these cute little like biker shorts and they have a pocket on the side um and it looks really small to me but when i tried them on my i tested it and my phone fit so we're good um they were 9.99 and then the next place i went to was old navy <laughs> one thing at old navy as well um and this was on sale so that's why i bought it so i got this cute little it's like a little, I don't know, like an athletic top and has like a built-in bra. Um, it was only $10. Um, I wanted just the plain black one, but those were like more expensive. So, and this was the only one that was on sale, but so I got this one. It has like a pattern, um, but it has like the cross back here and like it has a, a built-in bra like with the cups and everything and I got an extra large so that very cute I don't know maybe it might match <clears throat> it might match this I'm not too sure I mean it has a little gray in it but anyways so I got that and then I went to Walmart um so at Walmart I got this top just a little tie-dye top um so at old navy i tried on a similar one um but it was cropped like really short so i was just not comfortable with it because it was like really short um so yeah it was too short so then i saw this at walmart and i was like this is actually practically the same pat like tie-dye color so i got this one and it's like a full length shirt. It has the little knot here. And and that has a bucket. <laughs> and so it's a good fit. Very comfortable. And it was only $9.98. So I feel like this is a good shirt for like summer. Because it's very like light and uh, breathable. Breathable. Very important here in Vegas. Um, and then I got these cute little shorts just to lounge in. These were normally, anyways, it was normally $7.98 and they were on sale for $5.98. And look how cute the pattern is. I thought it was super cute. And they're super soft, like, and it has a pocket. Um and like a yellow tie um but yeah these are so soft and like i'm like a person who likes to wear shorts in the house like i don't really like wearing like sweatpants or leggings when i'm at home i'd rather just like either wear shorts or not wear pants at all so i wanted to get a pair of shorts to lounge in um but yeah so i got a large 7.98 but they were on sale in the end I got this shirt. Yeah, I thought it was cute. It's very comfy. 
um, and it has a v-neck but it's not like too low it's just a little it like goes to like here so it's you know covers everything pretty modestly so so then I bought uh, just a wide tooth comb I don't I think this was like three or four dollars like $3.99 or $3.98. Yeah, but I wanted one of these because the one I currently have is not the wide tooth and it rips all my hair out. I have very fine, thin hair, so I like to use a wide tooth comb just to get the tangles out after I shower and that's it. And then also these are really good to uh, comb out your wigs with. So I can use it for my real hair and my wigs. And then I got a mascara. Um, because mine mine broke and I can't get to it and then my other one is like flaky and dry so I was like just got this one because it was inexpensive and I was like I'm gonna give it a try I feel like wet and wild products are like getting better and better so hopefully that works good and then I got a cute little nail polish I thought this color was like really pretty and I got this because it was like super cheap um, but it's like fuchsia um, it's LA colors and the color I don't know what the color is it says CNP32 legend so so that was all my Walmart stuff so now let's move on to Burks okay now I got my Burks stuff um I got some oops. so I got my favorite coffee syrup because I ran out again um, and I've just been using the pistachio one but that one's running low so I got two of these sorry about that um I had to move areas because my whole little setup on my mirror this kept falling and that's frustrating because I was about to buy a tripod for like $7.99 when I was at Berks and I didn't buy it because I was like you don't need it right now um which I technically don't but it would just be a lot easier because I could have just set it up and used it instead of being like like how I am right now I'm like literally crouched crouching down on my bed Anyways, Burks. <laughs> okay, anyways, back to Burks. Um, so I also got some of these. I just needed some extra little razors for, you know, my face and my brows. Oh, and I got these cute little clippies. Look how adorable these are. And they're like, kind of like a matte very smooth like matte velvety finish and I just thought they were super cute because again I don't have like any hair so one of these will suffice just clipping my hair up um I got a soda but I got this at Walmart I just threw it in a bag and then I'm so excited I got this cute little top it's like I don't know, it's like an active wear kind of top. It's from 90 Degree by Reflex. I don't know, but that's the little symbol. I got an extra large, and it's like, I don't know, like ribbed kind of material. It's a little v-neck, and it's very cute. Stretchy, comfortable, and I really like it. And then last but not least, I got some like um leggings and i've been wanting some like this because they have the pocket in the side and i don't have any like full length leggings that have the pocket um and they're very light material so you know it's not going to be too hot to wear like especially in the summer um there's a little logo here and this is called shadow sport i got a large um yeah and these were only $10.99. Yeah, I'm super excited because I got so many like good like basic items that I really needed. Okay, 
but anyways yeah i'm super excited about that um <clears throat> i'm gonna go ahead and put all my stuff away and open up all the little plastic clippies and stuff and yeah that's about it <laughs> okay so i am just gonna chill the rest of the night put all my stuff away and now i'm gonna eat so i just made myself leftovers i had uh, made burger patties um like two days ago um so i'm just having that i put it's a burger patty with some grilled onion cheddar cheese i put half an avocado pickles and i made like a a sauce to go on top um and then i'm having apple slices on the side um so yeah i'm gonna dig into that and just watch some tv and kick back the rest of the night it's like nine o'clock i think so that's what i'm gonna do um so i'll catch you another day <laughs> hello happy saturday um it's like 2 30 ish and um, my boyfriend just left for work and I got an Amazon package. Um, I just ordered like a few things. Nothing too exciting, but I'm going to show you anyways. <laughs> okay, so first things first, I got some batteries. Not interesting at all. Um, and then I got some uh, self-tanner. So I got a new one. So the other one I had, um, I think it was the Jurgens one. It worked pretty good, but again, it was a very light color. Um, but I noticed that no matter how long I left it on for, as soon as I showered, the whole tan just came off. So it didn't work very good. It was very temporary. So I wanted to try this one because I did see this. Um, I was looking on Amazon and I came across this. Um, it's the B Tan brand and i got the i want the darkest tan possible um but yeah i saw it on amazon and it was super inexpensive and i was like mm, i'm not sure because i've never really heard of it and then i was on youtube one day watching someone's vlog and they had ordered it too and said it worked pretty well so i decided i'm gonna try it also um and then i bought the the same brand b tan um for the back so i already have um a mitt like you know to apply it um i think i have a bondi sam's mitt which is really good quality um so i thought i'd get one of these for the back because i always do self tanner but i don't do my back because like who can reach other than like re you know other than like when you just get right here so that's like the only part of my back i get is like here and then on the sides you know um, so I thought I'd try this out and see how it works. So it's just like here, I don't know the picture is. Like you basically just, it has little handles and you like hold each side and like, you know, rub it on your back. Um, but I'll open that up and show you. Okay, so it looks like this. It's kind of cool, right? Um, uh, it has a little logo here and each end has a handle. Um, we hold it like here and here and then rub all over kind of a thing <laughs> so i'm excited to give this a try um i think i'm gonna go take a shower and shave and everything and then give the new tanning a try okay i just got out of the shower and i did the self tanner um I don't know if you could tell, but obviously I went like up to here. And if you can see like the difference. Um, it says it to wait one to four hours. Um, so I'm probably gonna do the four and then maybe just hop in the shower and rinse it off. Um, normally I'll wear it overnight and then shower, but I feel like I wanna rinse it off. It's kind of like a grayish tone. So I'm like, maybe once I rinse it, it'll be a little more natural looking um see i don't know if i did a good job though see how it's like gray and then it's like red <laughs> yeah i did the best i could um i think i need to wash my mitt um it was a little streaky but i've been using this for quite some time um with other products so maybe i could just like hand wash this and then 
for next time um so yeah it is the bondi sands one i bought this like maybe a year and a half ago uh, when i bought the bondi sands one and i like that um i like that this mint and the bondi sands but obviously i wanted to try something new so we shall see um but anyways the back mitt tanning thing worked really good um, i did see that i missed one spot like directly in the middle of my back um so next time um, I'll make sure to get that, but it worked good. It made it a lot easier to get my entire back. Um, so that was kind of cool. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to sit here and let my tan dry because it still feels a little bit sticky. Yeah, so it still feels a little bit sticky. So I just want it to fully dry. I just threw on this like oversized, like loose dress um, for now. So I'm going to let it dry and then... I have some laundry I gotta go finish and I, I'm gonna do the dishes listen to my audiobook while I do my dishes and yeah that's about it I'm gonna put all this away hopefully it comes out good and I like it because I have a whole bottle to use <laughs> um the only thing was I did my hand and then I washed like like my palms so like the tan came off my finger so it looks kind of weird but we'll see what happens once I wash everything off. And then also, like, my face is very white and red. So it's not going to, like, match very well. Um, so I might, if it works, I might need a new foundation. Because I don't have, like, a darker shade. Um, but anyways, <laughs> I'll catch you later. I'm going to go take care of some things. And okay, so it is a little bit later. I finished the laundry and the dishes and I made myself an iced coffee. Yes, it's like, I don't even know, like five o'clock-ish, maybe 5.30, but this is half-calf, so it's not too bad. So I got my sewing machine out and I wiped it down like really good and like disinfected it because it was it was filthy <laughs> and i'm gonna see if it works uh, i had this wow for many many years probably like 20 years so hopefully it works um but yeah it's just a basic singer sewing machine um so i'll show you and let's cross our fingers that it works so this is what it looks like again it's just um a singer sewing machine um and again excuse the floor we still haven't fixed that yet um <clears throat> and then obviously it has a little thing here and i found a little bobbin in the storage area so when you open it this has like a little storage and then this is where that bobbin thing goes on see yeah it doesn't have one in here so this is all i have um yeah and there was a there was a needle in there that it looks like it's still intact i'm surprised because it's obviously been in there for many years um but yeah i'm gonna try and plug it in and see what happens okay plugged it in the little light still goes on Moment of truth. No. seems to be working at first it wasn't working and i was like oh i'm supposed to switch this forward right i don't know but once i did that it worked so <sighs> let's see i'm gonna try and thread it i don't really remember but obviously it has like the little directions so the thread goes here i think it goes oh no this is to thread the bobbin but anyways so the thread goes here I don't know. Maybe I'll YouTube it real quick and see because I do not remember. Okay, so 
so yeah i don't remember how to thread the actual machine so i think i'm gonna youtube it and see if i can figure it out um i feel like the bobbin the way i did it it was it's pretty loose but i'm gonna try it anyway i'm gonna look it up online and see how to thread it and then i'm gonna just test it on something the fact that it even works and the light still works and all of that is pretty cool um because i was thinking about buying a new one but i mean if this works why spend the money so so i'm gonna do some research and then see if it works okay <laughs> i just watched a video and i totally threaded the bobbin wrong um but whatever I feel like it'll still work. Yeah, I just did more than I needed to. and <clears throat> But now I know. And I figured out how to... I think I figured out how to thread it. But it seems okay. So I'm gonna try and sew something. So wish me luck. Okay, quick update. I know it's not that interesting. But the sewing machine didn't work out. It wouldn't go through the fabric. So I don't know. I don't know what to do. But... <clears throat> So I started making a denim bag out of old jeans and I just cut it and sewed it. It's not even because I'm doing it by hand. <laughs> I don't know. I might go back to it and try and straighten it out. Um, but yeah, so I did uh, just by hand. I sewed that shut and then I did like the edges. I don't even know. I just saw on a YouTube video that they did that. So I did that and now I'm making the straps. Um, so I just cut the legs in half and now I'm sewing uh, straight down. So I'm gonna sew this side and this side and then I'm gonna like, I'm doing it inside out and then I'll turn it back out and then it should be hopefully a pretty decent strap. Um, and I'm gonna do that for both legs and try and get them as even as possible. Um, I probably won't finish today because I'm kind of tired and my back hurts. So anyways, I will check back in with you either later or tomorrow. I'm not really doing anything the rest of the day other than kicking back and watching TV. Um, I'm probably just going to try and sew this until I get too tired. So, <laughs> alright, I'll catch you later when they're done. Hello. It is like Tuesday now. Like the last clip was like I think Sunday and the one before that was like sometime last week. I don't even know. Um but yeah, it's Tuesday. Um just got home from having lunch with my dad and now I'm just home chilling. Um I'm about to like do laundry and stuff because I am going to California in like one day. Um So yeah, we're going to California on Thursday coming back Sunday so I'm really excited because I get to go and spend time with family um it was my grandma's birthday like last week so we're all going out there to go visit with her um and then also me and my sister are going to be staying with our cousins um and we have some stuff planned so I'll probably start a new video tomorrow and like all of that and my trip it should be fun i'm really excited and I'm, hopefully we have time to go to the beach and then we're going to like a little tea house another day um and then on the weekend i'll be with my dad and like my grandma and stuff and we're gonna like have dinner and stuff with her so that should be so much fun so i'm super excited um but yeah i'm gonna get started like with laundry and stuff today and like pack up that way i don't have to like scramble because i'm the person that always wastes like the last minute and like i'm never prepared so i'm just gonna get all my stuff taken care of today laundry and everything and start packing and yeah so it should be lots of fun so well, um yeah i'm gonna end this one here because it's super long i was just editing it and i was like oh my god it's way too long so i apologize um but yeah thank you so much for watching and if you haven't already please like and subscribe and i will see you in the next one when we're in cali okay bye